Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. I'm making this video called 10 Mistakes That People Make At The Gun Range as a follow-up from the video I made last week called 10 Mistakes That People Make At A Gun Store. We are seeing record numbers of people enter the gun world, just thousands and thousands of guns being sold. Uh, recently, in the past couple months, these people want to go to the range, they want to shoot their guns, and that is good, but so many mistakes are being made and they, they always have been so I'm hoping this serves as an educational tool to help somebody out now before we get into this indoor ranges outdoor ranges are very different they have a different set of rules most ranges don't want you to do mag dumps in the lane all right I remember a while back I was at an outdoor range and the range officer yelled out a command and I got yelled at because I needed to back up about this much. There was a line on the ground. I didn't understand what was going on. I backed up a little bit and it was fine. But that just goes to show you there, there are certain things you may not understand. We need to try our best to understand those prior to entering the gun range. So let's go. The first one is that there should be some type of training safe gun handling, some type of expectation of what you're going to experience. There is nothing more annoying than seeing somebody go in there for the first time and have no idea what they're in for, all right? And, and this happens. People will go up to the range officer and say, how do you load this thing? And that is irresponsible. You are around people who are serious, who knows what's going on, and they don't want to be bothered by somebody who they don't feel understands safe gun handling I, w I took a person to the range once i did everything that i thought was right the problem was once they got into the range every time a shot was fired they went boo, 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 every single time and i said oh my goodness we better get out of here and try it again another time because this clearly is not working another thing is that it is irresponsible to hand somebody a gun that is too powerful for them to fire because you want to become Instagram famous. You want that next viral video. We see videos with thousands of views when somebody takes a gun, they fire it, and it comes back and hits them. Something like this is a high-powered revolver. It has some recoil to it. To hand an inexperienced person this and say, go ahead and pull the trigger. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, hang on, let me get my camera ready is completely irresponsible, puts everybody in that range at risk. They're scared to death. It could, you know, damage your firearm once they drop it. It could hurt themselves, could hurt you. You know, just let's avoid that. Start with a 22 and let them shoot that and then advance to uh, more powerful rounds as their experience shows that they can handle it. So avoid that. If your goal is just to go there and take pictures and take videos and stuff, you are in it for the wrong purpose. Now, I agree that a video, you know, your buddy behind you taking a video can help you. I learned a lot by watching myself, what I didn't do right, what I did wrong, what I should have done, blah, blah, blah. That That's all good. But when you go there with the expectation that we're going to walk out here with some cool videos and, and that, that's your goal, you're in it for the wrong thing. You're not going to a new restaurant. You're not going to a movie theater. You're going to a place of business where people are training people are there to learn about a gun people are there to work on their target practice and if you're not in it for that then you know what just go away and, and come back when you get your head uh, screwed on tighter another thing and I have to say this because a while back I was in an indoor range and I smelled alcohol on the breath of these two clowns they're next to me they're acting weird and they were shooting in a way that I felt was dangerous. I just packed up my stuff and left. Anybody who is, has consumed alcohol or is high or is not in a clear state of mind should avoid a gun range. Now, this should go without saying. I know it's in all the rules, but people violate that. And as a person in the range, you should not accept that. So I went and told the people in front. I said, those two guys, they're not shooting safely. They're acting weird. And I smelled alcohol. I'm out of here. And they said, thank you very much, sir. We'll check it out right now. Because they don't want that nonsense in their range to begin with, and neither should you. The lack of muzzle and trigger discipline at a range is, in many ways, haunting. We see people that are 
are shooting and then they need to adjust their glasses maybe they're fogging up and they go like this or or they'll they'll go like this and the the muzzle flash all over the place all right and the amount of trigger discipline where they could you know, have their finger on the trigger is not right they weren't taught the right way now they should observe all the safety rules and if even a couple of those are observed it should be a safe environment all right so if you don't do any of those it's not a safe environment muzzle always points down range slide lock back magazine removed your buddy wants to shoot he comes up or she comes up and shoots and they make the gun ready and that's the safest way to go to go there to show off and to talk to other people in the range that are shooting is not a good idea nobody's going there to make a new best friend nobody cares about the new gun you got nobody cares how excited you are or to go up to somebody and say hey uh, what are you shooting there oh that's cool can i try it totally unethical all right breaks all range etiquette don't do that you know go rent the gun that you want to shoot all right you pay a little bit of money it's not cheap you consider gun rental range time the price of the targets the price of ammo it's not cheap but you're going to have to do that if you're going to take this seriously, if that's what if that's what you want to do. You want to learn about the gun? Learn about the gun, but inside the gun range is not a good place to do that. And nobody wants to be bothered. I certainly don't, so stay away and mind your own business. To turn around with a loaded gun happens more often than you think. Just ask any range officer. Somebody will be shooting, and they'll go, Dude, did you see that group? Hey, put it down like that. And they, they turn around with the gun pointed right at their buddy. They already swept whoever was on this side or, or whatever the case. Muzzle discipline, trigger discipline, very important. Observe the safety rules. You shouldn't have a problem. And that goes with this one. People will fire. They run out of ammo. Instead of putting the gun on the table, muzzle down range, magazine removed, slide locked back. They just walk over to their jacket or their range bag that's behind them and grab another box of ammo. Keep the gun there. Go get the ammo. Come on back. It's a safer environment for everybody. To perform gunsmithing at a crowded range or not even a crowded range, you know, it, there's one thing if you are with buddies and you're at an outdoor range and you're amongst friends and you're checking stuff out, you're adjusting the trigger. That's one thing, and I find that acceptable. However, when you are around a lot of people and you bring, you bust out your, your tool set and you start monkeying with everything, that's not the place to do that. And range officers will tell you, hey, what are you doing? You know, we, we've got gunsmithing services. There are other places in this range for you to do that. To come out here and take range time away from somebody else because you're playing around with your gun is not, not a good way to go. I understand everybody wants to make the adjustments. They want to live fire it. But timing is everything, and use good timing as a time and place for that. Choose wisely. Another thing that's kind of crazy is that <laughs> as tempting as it may be, after you put a bunch of holes in your target, don't go shoot the target at the lane next to you just because they don't have as many. You're going to upset people, and once again, People are not there to make a friend out from you, okay? They're not looking for a new best friend. They're there to take care of what they want to take care of and then leave. I have found this to be true in every range I've ever been to. Nobody wants to be bothered, and if you're shooting their targets, you are bothering them. So those are my 10 mistakes that people make at gun ranges. I'm sure there are a lot more. Go ahead and let me know in the comments, and perhaps we'll do a part two to this video and be safe out there and use your head when you go to a gun range if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate the thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe